Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at your Mac. So, in order to clean up your storage and to make it faster, let's just go right into your Apple logo on the top left hand side. Let's just tap right there. Then we're going to select the very first option where it says about this Mac. Once you select that option, you will get something like this where it tells you your storage. So if your Mac's running really, really slow, you may have that problem where your storage is almost, almost full. Some of you may have 10 gigs of space left, which means your Mac is running really, really slow. If you guys have 50 gigs of space left, your Mac may be running a little bit slower. Everything's just taking way longer than it should. And then if you guys have 100 gigs of space left, well, then you guys should be okay. 100 gigs would be the minimum that I would recommend to have free storage. So right now I can see that I have one terabyte of free storage out of the three terabytes that I have in total right here on my Mac. So that means I'm okay. However, if you guys are really slow, then this is how to do it. And this is how to organize and just manage your storage. So we're going to click right here on the right hand side. We're going to see manage. So just click on manage from manage. You will see this window popping up from here on the side. We can see what's taking up the most space on our Mac. So for me, it would be applications. That means I should go into applications and see what I really need and what I don't maybe need at the moment and just taking those applications out, just deleted them off the system. So I'm just going to click on applications and I'm going to see which ones are the biggest ones. So right now I can see Xcode's four gigs. And as you guys can see, this sign right here means that the current version of Xcode that I have doesn't even run on my Mac OS. So I can just go ahead and delete that one. So I'm just going to click on it. And then without having to go anywhere else, I can just click on delete. So I can do everything from here. So I'm clicking delete delete. It's going to ask me for my password. If I have one, click OK. And there we go. You just deleted that. So I have four gigs more space. Now, if we're looking at other stuff such as documents, for example, so I'm going to click on documents. It's the same deal. It's going to tell me which ones are the biggest documents that I have. I can also delete these documents from here, just like we did with that program. Or we can just view them right here, showing Finder. It's going to show me exactly where it is. So I can actually see the document, maybe get a better understanding of what it is. Now, something else that a lot of you may have missed is your photos right here. So I do have 76 gigs of photos. A lot of you may have even more than that. So what I recommend is not doing it on iCloud. So you can turn on iCloud photos and then you will see that you get a message right away where you only have five gigs of space for free and then you need to pay. Well, I don't really see the need to pay because you do have Google Photos. Google Photos lets you back up all your photos. You can transfer all your photos and videos into Google Photos and that's a free service to back up all your information right there. So that's what I suggest doing, just transferring everything to Google Photos. It's free, just backing it up there and then leaving your Mac clean. So what I'm going to do in, at this point in time is also going to show you one more thing in photos. So what I want to go into is photos. I'm going to open that up. And a lot of you may have deleted a lot of stuff. However, maybe you guys didn't go into recently deleted and truly got rid of everything. So under recently deleted, I have all these photos right here. However, they're still taking up space in my Mac. That's because they're not fully deleted. So what I need to do is just select on delete all. I'm going to get this message and I'm going to delete them. Obviously, this will definitely delete those deleted photos that I deleted from before 100% off my Mac. That way, they will not take up any more storage, which is very important. So that's a trick that a lot of you may not even have gone there and you may have a ton of information there. Now, just in case for those of you who want to transfer your pictures into Google Photos, well, you can just click on your very first option, photos, for example, that's one way, then selecting all the photos that you guys want. So I just press command A and that selects everything. And from there, what I do is just export them into a folder. So I always export as unmodified because I want it to be just as they are. And I just put them into a folder. That folder I drag into Google Photos and I'm done. I do have a separate video showing you guys everything about Google Photos, so check that out in my channel. However, I just want to give you a quick glimpse of what you could do. Anyways, enough about Google Photos. There's another one that a lot of you may not have noticed and you're sending maybe pictures, videos, and that's what's taking up a lot of information, which would be under messages. So messages by themselves 
do not contain a lot of information. However, once you send like video, pictures, maybe animations, that's when this part takes over and may take over too much of your computer. So if I click on messages, I'm gonna get this screen and I'm gonna see exactly how many things I have. So as you guys can see, these things are just images and videos. They're not actual messages. So if I delete this KGG, for example, it's an MP4, that means it's a video, it's taking up 17 megabytes. So if I go ahead and delete it, it doesn't mean it's deleting all my other messages or any messages that I actually texted. However, it's deleting that file from my messages. So it's deleting that video or that picture from within the messages that's stored right in there. So this is something that for sure a lot of you will be able to do and just delete right here from your messages and it's not gonna take up more space right here on your Mac. Obviously you guys can click on something, open messages and check what it is exactly. I can also click down here where it says showing finder and get a little bit more information about exactly what that picture is. So these are the bare basics of how you guys can clean up your Mac and go on, leave at least 100 gigs of space in your Mac in order for it to run just fine. If you guys have 50 gigs, it's gonna run a little bit slow. Anything under that, you will see significant reduction in speed and performance of your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.